where you want to be. You don't want to be messing around with a turn two slab hammer against anything. You want Gnarlid, you want Slide Runner. Oh well. Okay guys, we've got one more. Danny says he's in. And we are going for the coveted and rare, despite the uh, amount of kind of uh, free wins that you get on Xbox Live against one ranks and such. We are going for the still rare and hard to get 10-0 with our Simic Ramp deck. In case that got cut off, uh, we're going for 10-0 with this uh, pile of Simic Ramp. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. And yeah, negative 30. That's how we roll. We go negative 30 with an Octopi army. That's how you Kiora. And Danny's not done. He wants one more. Uh, that'll And it'll conclude our stream for today in our 10 games. So, hopefully we get a good one. Looks like some kind of a Golgari Jundi mess. I don't know. Maybe it's his Jund deck. So anybody who's watched the video this long, or anybody watching the video this long on YouTube, thank you very much. This will conclude ramp's journey but will it be 9-1 or 10-0 let's find out yolo why not I, I have not seen nearly enough displacement wave shenanigans in these videos there are much uh, more ridiculous things we can do with this card and I want a chance to do them <laughs> so that's what we're gonna try for here In particular, it would be nice if we were able to get a Green Warden Displacement Wave 14 mana. Or no, it's not 14 mana. It's, uh, yeah, that's right. Six, so, yeah, 14. 14 mana combo going. That would uh, make my day. Green Warden Displacement Wave. Bounce all your stuff every turn. Every turn. You <laughs> Uh, the Barney versus Hakeem battles on that stream, that one where Hakeem, I think, had a lot to drink, and Barney was just playing red, and he, I think uh, Hakeem was trying to make allies work, or, I don't know, maybe it was his landfall deck. He was trying to make something work that just shouldn't work. That was a really... That video, that does stay... That, that like, scars you. It scars you for life, Babs. You and I will never unsee it. <laughs> Saltai kind of has an easier Infinity Wave, but because we get to use Nissa's Pilgrimage and Nissa's Renewal, because we have so many non, so many basic lands, we actually can set up our Infinite Wave uh, a bit easier. But actually drawing the cards that do it is hard. All right, so we're going Enchantment Happy over there, which is great. Um, the D Wave loves the enchantments, so we'll just keep the Vine. The vine train going. Hopefully we can hold out long enough to cast Renewal because uh, once we cast Renewal we'll have enough mana to really take advantage. Right Babs, you can't unsee it can you? Just all the red aggro and thopters just burning Hakeem's head into the ground. Oh my goodness. We may have to kill a wave early at this point. We may be in a pickle. Oh, well, thank you. I guess he uh, he was hoping to stack those the other way, I think is clear. I'm sure he didn't mean to give me a plus one, plus one counter. And you're not going to see me use a card like Ulamog's Reclaimer anytime soon. Uh, we'll put it on him to remove Nissa, I think, and we'll cast it, because the next turn we get that flip. Um... Can we buy that much time, though? I mean, he can get plus four, plus four. At the end of his turn here, he can make... One, two, three, four. He can really kick my butt um, if I'm not careful. But I don't want to wave yet. I definitely can't. Uh, and we have the creatures to buy the time, so yeah, we'll put Nissa out there. 
Like, one Nissa's Pilgrimage or one Acid Moss would have gone a long way this game, because our wave is kind of trailing. But, we'll see. I'm not using Ulamog's Reclaimer. That card's so bad. I don't like bad cards. I don't like processing. <laughs> what did I misclick now? Hmm. I'm probably paying too much attention. I'm probably paying too much attention in chat and I'm gonna mess up. There's Ob. That's a thing. And he's gonna kill Nissa now. Interesting. And he didn't... let's see, he didn't pump the team. So I think with a renewal I can last one more turn, but if he has a renewal I lose. Yeah. The safe play is coming up is going to be to wave. The not quite as safe play is renewal. So I think it's, you know, I think it's my job as your uh, magic guru here to wave. Let's see. If he renewals, though, I can block with the, with the vines. I'm actually, yeah. Let's see. What could he have to do? He'd have to tap out to renewal. If he played Evolving Wilds, he could go 4-4. Four, 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 four. And how could he kill my smaller creatures? He doesn't have, like, Radiant Flames. No, actually, now that I think about it, I don't see how he could punish me for this. So we're going to set it up big time. And we'll see how he punishes me for this. Because now that I've said that, and I'm in front of an audience, I'm sure he'll find a way. How easy is it going to be to make colorless mana? Well, you know, Rogue's Passage and Foundry of the Consoles and all those other dorky lands are going to go up in value. But what I'm really curious to see is if we get those lands that can tap for either a colorless or, you know, some other effect. In standard, it's going to be easy because you can go to the pain lands, you know. You can run your Caves of Koilos and your Shivan Reefs. And that's going to be, in my opinion, a pretty big deal. So we didn't get to flip Nissa the, this turn. That's fortunate for us. Uh, we can safely lose our blockers, even though, you know, I would be bouncing them with the wave. I don't really want to. I have plenty of land. And I'd rather have the life. So now things are going to get silly. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? I'm sure you are. Um, so we have to hit five. And we'll reset all that noise, and we'll get Jace out there. And you know what? <laughs> we now have, we're looking at a potential four <laughs> displacement waves <laughs> come in the way of a deck that really needs to set up some permanence. <laughs> and uh, so retreats back. Tokens back. Retreat number two. One white. Trying to get a look at this land over here. Green, 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 green. Black, black white. Okay. Let's start with this. Now, I don't want to get Ulamog exiled or flesh bagged or something stupid. But I don't have a bounce spell yet. I want to avoid that if I can. Just something stupid happened into Uli. Now we can deprive him of white mana and leave him on just one black, which is really brutal. 
So, I think we should do it. I'm just... Yeah. I'm always really shy when tapping that much mana for, to do anything. Just always conscious of what can go wrong. Let's see if there's a flesh bag or something like that. Suppression bonds. Now that's fine. Wah. <laughs> but here's the other thing. We don't uh we can go ahead and use the flashback. Huh, oh, clutch. That's good. That's good. But uh, here's the bigger effect, right? So... What's gonna happen after we do this is we're gonna pick Jace back up. So... Minus loyalty is fine. Oh wait, we can just do this for four and bounce suppression bonds. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no. Oh, and we thought we had a good answer with suppression bonds. Oh man. We'll get Drowner out there. You can likely finish the job. There were people who said uh, Jace was the weakest uh, walker in standard, too. I, I don't know. Some people misread Jace. It's just, at some point, you got to admit you're wrong. And at this point, anybody who thinks that way is pretty wrong. All right, let's put this one to bed. Uh, eh. I'm trying to use my tokens, but I couldn't. I don't know. I couldn't even see them to figure out how to tap. All right, guys. Uh, we did it. We 10 owed with a Simic ramp deck. I'm going to thank uh, Danny for the games really quick, and then I'm going to go look at the build a little while. All right. So this deck is the deck I'm playing in the iOS tournament, and it's registered this way, so I can't really change anything, but let's go uh, open it up and see what I would change. I would probably, like, um, I've been working on a different build of my Gruel Ramp deck. Check my message. All right, sorry guys. It's always, uh, I'm not good at multitasking. So, um, it, this is registered and I can't change much or anything about it because it's in uh, the iOS tournament, but if I were to, having had some more time to practice with it, let's see, a few things that I would really like and that I think fit in really well include... One is tempted to play Disciple, because we do have a lot of spells. Like, we have 24 spells, if you look down there, and I think most of them are instants and sorceries. Uh, there's only uh, there's two enchantments, and uh, there's one Planeswalker, but Disciple could do some real work, because you always have a lot of mana and a good amount of instants and spells, but you don't have a lot of card draw, so she 